What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I hope you like this video. This is your review for The Real Housewives of Miami, Season 5, Episode 7. So we are at Adriana's photo shoot, right? I mean, uh, video shoot, right? She looks beautiful. She's got this bright green, yellowish, you know, um, 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 caftan situation. She had all the ladies dressed in black, so of course she would stick out even more. We've got some men and, and some bikini thongs, you know, for eye candy. And Jonathan, the director, is there. And he said, okay, listen. We got one day to get this shot. They're on a yacht. You know, she, he says, we got one day to get this shot. Do your ladies have their choreography? Adriana says, well, I mean, I sent them the video. I hope they have it. And he was like, okay, so you're really scaring me right now. What do you mean you hope they have it? You mean you sent them the choreography? Like, what are you talking about? And so, and she says, well, you know, I sent them the information. You know, what am I supposed to do? And so, um... The ladies start showing up. Now listen, Larsa and Marisol have no intention of being part of this daggone video. Like, they are over it from the beginning, right? Marisol said, I'm the bartender. And Marisol was absolutely hilarious in this episode, bringing them liquor, pinching the dancers on their cheeks, like breaking up the, the rehearsal. Like, she was hilarious. Larsa was like, you know, I'm, I'm just here so I won't get fined. Like, I have no intention in being in this video at, at all. Nope, not doing it. So they're doing a rehearsal. They're practicing the, the, the choreography, which really isn't that complicated. But of course, they can't do it. They look crazy. The director is, is frustrated already. Before we even get started, the director is frustrated. So after the rehearsal, they take a break. Now, when they take the break, Gertie is totally ignoring um, Alexia. And Alexia is like, are you ignoring me? Like, what are you doing? Like, how, what do you mean you're ignoring me? And she was like, listen, because I still feel some kind of way about some of the things that you said and I have a problem with it. Now, listen, Gertie, I'm here for the ignore game. I, listen, when I decide I don't have nothing to say to you, I don't have nothing to say to you. Like, you could literally be standing in my face and I would pretend like I'm looking right through you. I have no problem with that. But here's the problem I do have, Gertie. I have a problem when people constantly bring up stuff that we've already hashed out. You and Alexia already talked about the misunderstanding about what she said, um, comparing your charity event to her bachelorette party. And you and you said, okay, I get it. Y'all talked it out, whatever. You brought it up again as if to say, I still have a problem with you because I still feel like, you know, that you, you, you blended it all together. Like you felt like she was superior, saying she was superior to you guys and talking to y'all crazy when you were in Key West. Then leave it there. Don't keep bringing up old stuff that you, that you said you had already resolved with her. I don't like that because that's how we never move forward with these situations, child. So they got to arguing, going back and forth, back and forth, and it got heated and, one minute they were yelling at each other and and, and 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 talking over each other. And then Gertie was saying, my brother is very important to me. So when you insult something that's connected to my brother, then I feel like you're insulting my brother. No, she's not. Her her saying that she felt like her bachelorette party was, was a better party than the charity event you threw for your brother has nothing to do with your brother's memory or legacy. It has to do with what she was saying about your party planning skills, okay? Let's not conflate the two. But on the flip side, I think what she was trying to say was, listen, my wedding, I want my wedding to be fun. I want it to be fun like the bachelorette party. I don't necessarily want it to be as formal as the um, the charity event. Or maybe she was throwing a jab. I don't know. But even if she was throwing a jab, she was throwing the jab at you and not throwing the jab at the at your brother. And I, Gertie, I wasn't with you with that one either. So then they get to talking about... Um, Alexia was like, and you said that you couldn't do my, 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 my wedding and that hurt. And Gertie was like, girl, I told you I had a wedding that day. Yeah, but you made it to my wedding party. And again, my problem is she went out of her way to try and make sure that she made it to your wedding party because she was like, at the very least, I didn't help you do your wedding. I want to be here to help you celebrate. So now you're throwing that in my face. So what you're trying to say is I lied. Are you trying to say that I lied to you about having a wedding because I just didn't want to do yours? No, I did have a wedding that day and I busted my ass to make sure that I did everything that I could do. I had good people in place that I trusted 
and that I left that event that had my name on it, that if something went wrong, I was on a boat in the middle of the Miami, I know it ain't the Miami River, but the ocean that I can't even get back to to resolve the issue. And that's my name on the line. So if anything, you should be respecting and understanding the fact that I'm actually sacrificing to be here for you. But don't nobody ever see it that way. Moving on. So then, Gertie's talking about her brother and how he died and his accident. Alexia is talking about her son and his accident and how that affected him. And next thing you know, they crying. Then they hugging. And I'm so confused. And so is everybody else. Child, Marisol, Nicole, and Kiki were sitting there like, what in the whole entire F is going on here? Lisa showed up just to show her love. She couldn't stay. Her son had a recital. But come to find out, Lenny is denying in the press, denying that they're even having any type of a problem. And I'm thinking to myself, how, how are we denying that there's a problem when we all see, like on the show, it's playing out on the show. Lenny, you know you're filming. You know all of this is going to be on, on the show. How are you in the press saying, Oh, no, it didn't happen. Oh, no, me and my wife are fine. Oh, no, we're not separated. Oh, no, we don't have a problem. Like, sir, what is wrong with you? This whole, I'm not understanding what's going on with Lenny. Like, sir, I'm so confused right now. Then we have Adriana is outside mad because she is like, I can't believe that these women are taking this opportunity and making this about them. This is my day. It's supposed to be a special day for me. Oh, you mean like last season when y'all were in the Hamptons for Lars's jewelry line launch and she had all those influencers there and people from um, the media there and you had a whole fit and threw a whole tantrum in front of all of those people at her party? You mean like that day? You mean like that people taking away from your day? Is that what you're talking about? I said, boy, people are so quick to forget when they, you know, it's cool for you to, you know, it's cool to do it to me, but when I do it to you, oh, it's a whole problem. So they finished filming the daggone video, child, because the director is frustrated as hell. He said, listen, we don't have but about two hours of light left, and nobody is listening to me. Why is nobody listening to me? We've got to get this shot. We've got to get this shot. So they finish up filming, child. So then they go back inside, and here go Larsa. Larsa going to ask um, Julia, well, you know, I heard that, you know, Julie, I just want to let you know that somebody called me and they gave me this rumor. They said that you was down to the four seasons smooching and booching on some man. And Julia was like, yeah, yeah, that was me. And what she tried to say was, well, you know, the paparazzi be down there and they want to see something. And, you know, and, and I play games with the paparazzi. So me and my friend, you know, we did it for the cameras. We did it for the attention because, you know, the paparazzi was there. Child... Larsa was like, girl, there ain't no paparazzi at the Four Seasons. Mm-mm. That's a lie. So then they were like, so, I mean, that's cool. Like, you're a married woman. Like, even if you, even if I'm going to go along with that and say that you were doing it for the, for the, for the cameras, like, Martina cool with that? Like, that's, that's what y'all do? That's, that's how y'all roll? Like, that's, that's y'all situation? And here come Adriana, Captain Saberho. Well, she... Well, we don't need to talk about that. You're bringing the energy down. Larsa was like, I'm not bringing the energy down. I was just asking a question. Well, I know my friend. I know my friend and she's getting upset. So we're going to change the subject. Larsa was like, girl, how you get to decide that we changing the subject? Like, she's fine. I'm sitting here looking at her right now. She fine. Look, look at her right now. She's fine. And Larsa was just like, I mean, and um, Adriana was like, well, we're not going to talk about that now. We're not going to talk about that now. And I was like, but she said that she... Oh, all right then. Okay, girl. So then, um, oh, so everybody is getting irritated with Adriana now because now they're like, why you always got to jump in and save Julia? Like, Julia is fine. She's a grown-ass woman. She can talk for herself. So then she ends up, um, Adriana, she that is ends up coming at Kiki, and Kiki is like, hold up, player, how you gonna come at me? Like, 
I'm the only one that's been here for you. Like, I was the only one at your damn rehearsal. I've been here with you for this whole thing. And with you, because she talking about some, Kiki, you don't know anything. You don't know shit. Be quiet. You don't know shit. And Kiki was like, how you going to say, girl, like, I've been here for you. I was here for this, you know, for your, your dumb rehearsal. <laughs> and I went through all of that with you. And now this is what we doing. This is where we are now. She was like, no, ma'am. Mm-mm. We not doing that. Kiki gets mad, baby, and Kiki storms off. And then we find out later on that Kiki actually ended up threatening um, Larsa, I mean, Adriana, and was like, and I don't want to be in your stupid video. And if I see me in the video, if I see any footage of me in the video, I'm going to sue your ass. I said, I said, oh, Kiki is on one. Kiki is not a happy camper at all. So... All right, so then we see Lisa with the kitties, you know, being a mother, doing what mothers do, child. She says she's just trying to keep her kids protected from everything that's going on. The kids don't know that her and Lenny are separated, and they're just trying to figure it all out. And then we talk about the fact that there's an article in page six where Lenny is denying, I already talked about that, but where Lenny is denying the affair, saying it's not true, and that him and Lisa are working things out. And Lisa is like, working out what? Working out where? Sir, you are a whole liar. Okay, we see Gertie, um, um, we see Gertie with her husband, and, you know, we see them kind of going through their thing. She said, listen, my husband is a fire captain, his schedule is very set, and I take advantage of the fact that I know he's going to be home on certain days to do certain things. She said, you know, before my, my party planning business was pretty local, because a lot of people come to Miami to get married or to have events, and so it was pretty local. She said, but after, you know, I was featured in the magazine, I think it was Vogue but, or Forbes or one of them people, um, after I was featured in the magazine, my, you know, my business really blew up, and at this point, I'm sort of... Um, everywhere you know i'm sort of international you know i've traveled the world to do events and so you know i appreciate my husband for being there and being a trooper through it but i know and what wh i love what she said she was like listen what goes up must come down and i gotta keep the heat while i got it because i'm not gonna always be you know i mean a business is established, yes, but, you know, I'm not going to always be hot. There's always somebody that, that comes along, so I got to take advantage while I can. And my husband, he gets it. Like, he understands, and I appreciate the fact that, you know, that he's there. And I'm like, but you better not take him for granted, girl. You better not take him for granted, because you see what kind of things you got going on around you, okay? Okay, my love. So then, um... Julia is having a housewarming party. Her and Martina are having a housewarming party down to the house. Um, and um, Gertie's doing the party. Julia has disinvited Kiki. She says she didn't really like the way... Basically, she ain't like the way Kiki came at Adriana, even though Adriana started it with Kiki. But she was like, you know, she's threatening to sue and everything. So I just don't want that energy. I just don't want that kind of energy. And again, I get it. That's your, that's your ride or die. That's your friend. But the flip side is, girl, she was wrong. She was wrong. She came at Kiki first. But anyway, it is what it is. So all the ladies show up, and of course, they look nice, and blah, 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 blah. Listen, at this point, I'm over Julia and her quirkiness. Because at this point, I feel like you're different just to be different. You got this damn goat with a diaper on and a damn jean jacket, and you are walking him around the house with a leash. You are carrying a dog. Why? Like, I'm all for people who like animals. I'm all for people who like to do things, do different things. But sometimes I feel like Julia is just trying to be different. She's trying to create a moment. She's trying... Because, girl, that's, like... You have to know that that's just... See, Julia type of people, I would never eat at her house. I would never eat no food that, that that came from her house. I don't want no potluck with Julia. I Like, in this event right here, I wouldn't have ate nothing. I don't care if it was catered. I don't care if other people cooked it. She got animals all in her kitchen and walking around the house with diapers on. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I don't want no parts of that. I wouldn't have ate the hors d'oeuvres. I, I don't even know if I would have drank the champagne. I would have bought me a bottle that had a top on it. And I would have just drank out that bottle all day. Or a, a flask like Marisol. I just would not. That is just nasty to me. Okay. That's me. So, um, 
at the party, of course, you know, they have the nerve to bring up this whole her kissing another man situation in front of Martina. Because at first they was talking about it. And then um, Larsa, they was talking about it, but then who brought it up in front of Martina? It wasn't Larsa. I want to say, I don't remember who it was. Damn it. One of them, because I was thinking, why would y'all have this conversation in front of Martina? And then one of them just, I think it might have been Nicole, just point blank said something to Lar to Martina. And Martina was like, well, I probably would have been more upset if she was kissing a girl. And I feel like Martina did a good job of blowing it off. But I feel like it was definitely a conversation that she was going to have with Julia later. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe she already had the conversation with Julia. I don't know. But... I feel like she, you know, because I feel like Martina is one of those people that she's going to keep it in-house. Like, she's not going to let them know. She's not going to let them see her sweat. But I feel like, in my mind, she felt some kind of way. That's my opinion. I don't know if I'm right or not. But I feel like she probably felt some kind of way about that situation. Um, We found out that, Audrey, that Jonathan then told Adriana, child, we can't use none of this footage. We can't use none of this footage that you didn't gave us because it's a mess. Okay, you got it's a mess. This 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 music video, it was a fail. Okay, an epic fail. So eventually, everybody sort of leaves out. You know, they had their little house moment. It was cute, whatever, whatever. Um, and Julia is talking to the ladies. Uh, I think it's just Nicole and Adriana that's still there, and. They're talking, um, wait a minute. No, it was Larsa. I, let me go back. It was Larsa that said something to Martina. My bad. It was Larsa, child Larsa, child Larsa. Anyway, so Julia is talking to them about how Martina wants her to be more spontaneous and more affectionate and take advantage of the fact that the kids aren't there. Um, you know, and Julia says she really knows she needs to try because she ain't trying to end up divorced and going through what Lisa's going through. And so Martina said, I'm about to go upstairs, put my bathing suit on, and I'm about to get in the water. Like, I'm about to take me a nice little swim in the ocean. And so they said, jump in the water with her. Just be spontaneous. Get in the water with her. So she, so Julia has on this beautiful gown. I mean, she, the, 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 the dress was really beautiful that she had on. And she did. She got in the water and surprised Martina. And Martina was like, oh, my goodness. You know, she said, wow. And, and you know, they were out there being all cutesy and lovey-dovey. And I thought that was cute. And I, I thought that was nice. But, girl, you got to keep it up. You got to keep it up, Julia. Especially since you're down to the four seasons smooching on another man, girl. You better keep it up. Okay. Anyway, that's what happened. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.